The Beast is here. Time for a beatdown, cowboy style. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring from Minneapolis, Minnesota, weighing in at 295 pounds, Brock Lesnar! It is cowboy time at the Showcase of the Immortals. Brock Lesnar has been a WrestleMania main eventer ever since his first WrestleMania, where he won the WWE title from Kurt Angle. Since then, he's had many main event encounters against the likes of Triple H and Roman Reigns, even ended the Undertaker streak. But this man has a WrestleMania chip on his shoulder after losing the championship unification match against Roman Reigns at the biggest WrestleMania match of all time. Here comes the street champion. And his opponent from Las Vegas, Nevada, weighing in at 250 pounds, Solo Sikoa. The younger brother of the Usos, but had a far different upbringing. When Jimmy and Jay were getting their start in WWE, Solo was still getting into fights on the street. Oh my God, we're awaiting catastrophic levels of carnage from Brock Lesnar. The forecast tonight calls for an F5. Guys, with this match underway, you have to imagine that Solo Sokoa has some dangerous intentions in mind for this one. Of course he does, Cole. The street champ is all about sending a message, and not a particularly positive one. Ferocious, dangerous, these are just a couple of words to describe Solo Sokoa. Some have also called him a menace, Corey. You do not want to get on Sokoa's bad side, but I'm not sure there's anything other than a bad side when it comes to this guy. Well, I hope he doesn't think Brock Lesnar's lost any of his patented aggression. I know the wide brim and the smile can be a little misleading. Nothing more dangerous than a beast with a smile on his face. Brock has nothing more to prove. He's here for fun. Ouch. Just insulting. Just punched him right in the mouth. Relentless. Right to the face. My God. The Beast is feeding off the energy in the WWE Universe. Go behind. Suplex City. Population U. Clearly waiting for that. And Sakoa on the receiving end again. It is scary how much Lesnar enjoys dishing out this punishment. Solo Sokoa, of course, considers himself the street champ of sports entertainment. Corey, how do you think that self-proclaimed title is going to factor into this one tonight? Cole, being the street champ factors into everything Solo does, both in and out of the ring. That means the power, the dominance, the explosivity. Again, both in and out of the ring. But power is especially the calling card of the street champ. brutality starting to show on him. Such a forceful velocity behind every one of Lesnar's attacks. Incredible domination from Brock here. Solo's perseverance being tested. Fought back 
with a punch to the gut. Sharp punch. Oh, man, went right to the esophagus. Arms trap. Precision strikes. Solo Sokoa signaling to the audience, and they are responding. Oh, he knew what was coming. <laughs> Setting it up. Thunderous <laughs> clothesline. Uh -oh. Clothesline. He's expressing pain now. This is a very dangerous situation now. Reversal. Can they go on the attack? Finds the advantage after a string of counters. Ooh. Oh, what a punch. That's how you stop your opponent. Go behind. Suplex City. Population U. Yeah. A sound suplex. Body shots. With Tom, what a close line. Sakura just unable to stop this attack. Just another day in the office for the Beast Incarnate. What reflexes to stop Sakura? Good lord. So effective. No reason for him to be out here. Well, where, where are they? And here's another look at what made that match so special. Here is your winner, Brock Lesnar! A valiant effort, but you can't deny that the earlier distraction had catastrophic repercussions throughout the match. It tried to tune out the added presence, but it ultimately proved to be too much for them. You hate to see it.